So you just peel it off. Yes. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Never thought I'd actually be saying that, but I've decided to just do what makes me happy and this will be the first video. So today we're gonna be doing the Korean 10 step skincare routine. And you might have heard about it from like Soko Glam, which really pretty much brought the 10 step routine to the masses. Um, but a lot of Korean women especially have been doing this 10 step routine for quite a while, for generations and generations, and their skin is popping. So I slowly started to like get into Korean um, beauty. Um, I lived there for a year and I picked up a few products and fell in love with the products and slowly built up a collection of products that I like and that suit my skin. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. Excited. Okay, so there are 10 steps. Not every day do you have to do the 10 steps. Um, sometimes if you've washed your face in the morning, done the whole 10 step routine, and you haven't worn makeup that day, you don't really have to do the whole 10 steps again the next day. And for some products in the 10 step routine, like the face mask, it's not recommended to use them every day. So you take some steps out, include some extra steps, just depending on, just depending on what you need that day. So let's get started. Guys, I'm a bit nervous, eh? Woo! It's the first video. Okay, I just want to tie my hair up. These braids are fresh. Got them this morning, so like... Oof. Just trying to tie them up right now is kind of a mission. Because they're sore. Okay, let me try again. Just fight through the pain. You know when they're so crisp, what happens with braids is, unlike the first day or two, you can't move them to like direction they don't want to go because it just hurts. Anyway, we're not talking about braids today. First step is an oil cleanser. So Koreans believe in double cleansing, which means using an oil cleanser and a water-based cleanser. That might sound like it's a lot, but trust me, it's worth it. Um, the oil cleanser, I'll show you to you now. It's this one. So the oil cleanser removes oil. That might sound weird, but it's facts. So if you're wearing makeup or sunscreen or just grime that builds up in the day, oil cleanser will remove that first layer of dirt, which is usually oil. So this is what it comes like. I just open a new packet. So this is the Clean It Zero by Benilico, and it's like a balm. So you use the spatula and just take out like a nice chunk. Oh yeah, there you go. Just focusing. Um, and you put it on your dry skin. So just lather it on. So I'm not wearing makeup right now, but I do have something on my lips and my eyes and eyebrows, and you'll see that come off with this oil cleanser. So just rub it in. Feels good against your skin. Just everywhere. Just wanna get all those edges. There we go. And that just melts away all the makeup, sunscreen, and just like, you know, that day sheen that happens. It's really like, it's hot right now, so skins be doing things so just rub it in there you go and rinse that off with lukewarm water let me put this on before i ruin my fresh edges oh does that braid pain oh my gosh okay just keep my braids fresh and tight there you go. So you can probably see now my eyebrows are just looking dusty and just like sparse. That's because the oil cleanser removed the makeup layer. 
and my lips are clean there was real lipstick on so yeah you already start feeling much better for the second step we're gonna use a water-based cleanser so what a water-based cleanser does is it removes like debris so actual dirt that comes from the day so like dust and stuff that layers on the skin um, I like to use this by the face shop another Korean brand let's just focus this there we go this is a rice water cleanser I've been using it for years it does well for me it's not too strong it's quite gentle on the skin um, love it so this is our second step and you're just gonna take about that amount and lather it up a water-based cleanser means when you add water to it it becomes leather okay so you just wrap that on again there we go and this is just going to remove all those fine particles that end up on our skin look like a ghost Okay, I'm just gonna rinse this off. There we go, squeaky clean. Just dry that. And you just feel your skin is actually so clean, but it's not dried out. It's just because you've done the double cleansing, so all the impurities are off your skin. And we're not using harsh products, so you're not stripped away from anything. Next step is exfoliating so for this step i like to use a liquid exfoliator such as this one there's barely anything left but the there you go let me just focus it this is by clarins the difference between this and your normal exfoliator um, that contains granules is that this is gentler on your skin gentler gentler this is more gentle I think that's the correct English. Woo! The ghetto. Um, so the ones with the, with granules inside, they might they might seem like yo, it's really exfoliating. It's like on my skin doing the most. But what it's actually doing is it's doing too much. It's actually doing too much. It's just scratching your skin, and it's not it's not necessary. You just need a gentle gentle exfoliant that you can use two or three times a week um, just put it on a cotton pad and brush your skin it's a more natural way of exfoliating another thing I like to use for exfoliating is a cleansing brush um, this is just like a knockoff one it's not a clear sonic but this is what I use maybe once a month uh, when I just feel like my skin is dried up and I need to get that dead skin off. It's still I still find it better than your average exfoliant with those granules and whatever inside. I don't know what those things are called. So this just vibrates or turns and just rub it on your skin. But today we're going to stick to the liquid exfoliant. I like Clarins. I know this isn't a Korean brand but it's easier to get around here. It's quite hard for me to find Korean brands in South Africa. Um, where I do get them is from ordering overseas and that sometimes takes long. So I need to find a more sustainable way of getting skincare products. And Clarence has been working for me. So I'm just gonna put this on a cotton pad. Just put it all on there. There you go. And literally just gently you don't have to scrub like just you know doing the most just gently keep away from the eyes guys delicate skin keep away from the eyes there we go and trust me guys it works i know it doesn't look like an exfoliator but it's doing what needs to be done yeah okay Next up is a toner, so a toning step. A lot of us use toners already. Um, this one, 
that I'm going to use. It's literally like my holy grail. Um, thank you to Soko Glam for introducing me to this. Uh, ever since I started using it, haven't, haven't strayed. It's literally just the best thing. So this is beauty water. There you go. Now I see why I feel Didi's hands, guys. Ugh, makes sense now. By Sun and Park. So it's a Korean brand. Sun and Park are two makeup artists that started a beauty range and a makeup range a few years back. And let me tell you guys, once you get on this, you are on. Ain't no coming back out. It's just like a gentle toner. You can use it every day. It's like a toner, exfoliant, essence, just everything in one. It's beauty water. Everything you need. Everything. 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 <laughs> so just put this on a cotton pad again. In fact, I'm not going to put it on a cotton pad. I'm just going to put it in my hand and dab it into my skin. Because I've already exfoliated, I'm just gonna dab it in. No need for a cotton thread. There we go. So this is just gonna balance out my pH levels and also help with the absorption of the next products. Guys, it's literally everything. And it's made from a lot of natural ingredients like grapefruit, I think there's papaya in there. It just does everything. I can't sell this. I'm not even on their payroll. I mean, next step is essence. There you go. So this is Misha Time Revolution. This is like a holy, another holy grail of essences. Um, it's been around for a while. Yes, it is another Korean product. Um, I also like to just dab this in. And what it does, it it's kind of like intensifies moisture so when I do my following steps this is gonna help with the absorption again and I like to use this when my skin is really dry when I've just done the most you know not washing my face properly I like to just give it a boost with this so again put it in a few drops like three drops and just dab it on so once again I know this already seems like a lot on your on your face, but you don't do all the steps every day. For example, exfoliating is only twice a week. Um, I don't double cleanse every single day because sometimes it's not necessary. So you kind of learn what you need to do, what you don't need to do, and what works for you. After the essence, it is the treatment stage. So this is where you put your serums, your acids, whatever you need for your skin. Everyone's skin is different. And I use this um, Clarins. Again, it's Clarins. This is their, what is it called? Bright Plus Tri Intensive Brightening Serum. So what this is gonna do is help with removing dark spots on my skin and evening out my complexion. Um, I know it is brightening, it's not a it's not a lightening product. It's literally just for complexion, so to bring you to your true complexion. So I just put a little bit and just dab it in where I need it. There we go. So it's feeling kind of like tacky, which is fine. It just means the layering is working. The reason we're going in this order is so that each product actually works. There's no use starting with the serum and then moving onto a toner because the toner is not going to penetrate the serum. So it is important to layer and order the products correctly. And next up, one of the most exciting parts is the mask stage. So a sheet mask. Um, I'm gonna use Dr. Jart, the Vital Hydro Solution. Just because my skin's been quite dry, it hasn't been raining, the air's dry around here. Um, so I feel like I need this. There are lots of masks you can find, like here's a brightening one. Um, what else do I have? Water replenishment. Just depends on what you need. 
this one I'm saving for later because you know touch up them coins Woo. okay so you just open it up this I do once a week maybe twice when I feel like spoiling myself and it comes like this and just unfold it it's just dripping in juices oh my gosh oh my gosh okay oh my gosh what you can do is also keep them in the fridge and that helps with like cooling and calming your skin when you put it on it feels so good when it's cool okay and just put it on good job the girl I look like a joke. Sometimes these Korean things don't fit on like my face. I don't know if Koreans just have small faces or mine is just big or a combo of both. Okay. There we go, pat it down. And yeah, so you're just gonna sit there looking like a joke, but it's your own time. You know, do what you need to do for a good 15 minutes, whatever that may be. And I just hit like a YouTube video. Sometimes I just stare into space and do nothing. But I mean, these jobs got you doing those things, you know? Okay, so 15 minutes. I literally just looked at my watch and I'm not even wearing a watch. Just check. Okay, 15 minutes, and then we'll be back, and we're back. Okay, so you just peel it off, yes, and you just tap that in. So all the, what you pay for actually are juices, so don't rinse it off. If there's any leftover juices in the packet, like, I would actually just... Okay, there's actually nothing here. Nothing left. But just take take them out of the packet and put them on your skin, on your neck. Yes. This is literally like my favorite thing to do. Just have some time to yourself with your face mask. And yeah. They look like Casper the Ghost. I once tried these charcoal masks. <laughs> I look like a joke, my darling. Because they're just like black, like black. And on your skin, you actually scare yourself sometimes. So those, no man, no man. <sighs> Guys. Okay, so we're just gonna let that sink in for a bit. Just uh, get in there. And there you go. So we're almost done. Next step, this is if you need it. So I'm on that other side of the twenties where skin's starting to do the things and I need to stop, like prevent things from happening. Oh, this is a disaster. I just got the oh, most. Okay. Oof, that's a bleeper. So what we're gonna be doing is eye cream step. So this is step number seven. No. Eight. Yeah. Ooh, guys, the mats was just not working there. And this is, let me show the product first. This is an eye cream by, who's it by? Etude House, another Korean brand. I've only started using this recently, um, so I can't really say if I'm seeing a difference, but let's see how it goes. So I get dark circles and like sunken eyes a lot and I think the skin goes, I 
don't know if loose is the word, but like, I don't know if you can see, they're quite sunken and like quite dark in there. So I think the collagen is what I need, just to tighten that area up. So let's just dab that in. I like to go around you as well. There we go. Okay. I especially need this like before work because sometimes I wake up looking like I was in a war, I had kids, like I just look tired. So that helps in the morning. And then the next step is your moisturizer. So I'm sure everyone has a moisturizer they like to use. This one is actually not a Korean brand. Um, again, it's back to the Clarins. Just because I needed something sustainable, something I can get, especially moisturizer, which runs out so quickly. So I just need something that I can easily find here. Um, so there we go. This is the Clarins Bright Plus. I, um, I use the Bright Plus range. And this is their day lotion. So just gonna do so awkward this angle. What? Okay, two squirts. And it's not cheap, let me tell you. So you need to be careful with those squirts. Put it on. I actually put too much, but I'll rub it in. So I like to tap my products in instead of rubbing just because it's gentle on the skin, prevents wrinkles. Guys, I'm at an age where I need to be thinking about wrinkles and all that stuff here. Yeah. I mean, the years just keep ticking and I don't know what's happening. One minute you're 20, the next minute you're 20 something. Oof. The next minute you got wrinkles and dark circles. I'm just feeling like clean and like sparkling and just yes just feels good just feels good this feels right guys this is this is right I think it's also because after a long time I actually did all the steps at once which is needed every now and then Ooh, hoo -hoo, let's take this off so I can actually just get my skin right Yes. Yeah, yeah, skin guys, skin. And the last and final step, and in my opinion, the most important step, the most, the most, the most important step, the SPF stage, so your sunscreen. This is my new favorite sunscreen. I don't know if you can see. It is super goop everyday sunscreen so i've tried quite a few and especially for someone of color it is hard to find a sunscreen that just blends in it's not making you look purple looking like a joke in the streets because we do want to protect our skin but i'm also not trying to look like a joke because that's not popping this one just like sinks in um, it's not a chemical sunscreen, it's a mineral sunscreen, but it just sinks in, does what it needs to do. Don't feel like gross and sticky and like, you know, those basic things. Um, it just works. Just put, so I got this in the States. I haven't seen it in South Africa. Yeah, that's enough. And I think I'm going to order a few more. And literally just once again tap it in. You see, no purple looking dusty face. Literally just sinks in and looks natural. And I cannot stress this enough, but it is the most important step just because the sun is so vicious, guys. The sun is so vicious. That's what, that's what gives you wrinkles and like discoloration, and I'm not trying to do that. I'm really not trying to do that. So yeah. And those were the 10 steps. I'm just checking if I left anything out and I did not. We did it guys. We did it. And my hair touch fell out at the, right at the end. 
there we go okay so that's your Korean 10 step or 10 step Korean I'm not sure about that word order but it's the Korean 10 step Korean routine <laughs> Lols. you get the gist of it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this is my very first video so I'm sorry if it's like a bit dusty and raggedy but we'll get the hang of it Whew, guys the skin okay okay just need to sort out these eyebrows um, but yeah hopefully we'll see you guys again and don't forget that SPF cheers guys